So I am back with another cyberpunk news video and today we cover even more information from the game thanks to news being released from media sources who have had early access to it. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out and if you are new around here and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So I will warn you spoilers may lay ahead and if you want to go into this game completely blind to any information leave right now. Okay, so a few days back I uploaded a video on the basis of GameSpot feeding us information on the game as they had had 16 hours early access. Today I cover even more information they have dropped, with also information being added in from IGN 2. This contains a dildo and a stick weapon reward, first person sex scenes, unique weapons, Johnny Silverhand and when we first meet him, combat side quests and much more, so let's get into it people and let's start with Johnny, our digital ghost. When do we actually get to meet him in game? Well I think now most of us know when he comes into play within the game and it's due to us installing a chip within our head which contains Johnny. And this happens after the prologue of the game which is said to be around 6 hours long. After this getting into the main story our first mission is to go and steal a bio chip. Its container breaks and the only way to save this biochip which would set us up for life is to install it within ourselves. This biochip opens up that path for Johnny to start taking over our bodies and well that's when we meet the rocker boy Johnny Silverhand. Now the relationship between us and Johnny Silverhand is somewhat antagonistic and influenced by our decisions. And it's said although Johnny isn't always there he does play well into the game and those side missions so expect him to pop up all over the place. So actually onto the side missions and what was covered, again guys spoilers may lay ahead. So side quests were done with Judy and one that was mentioned where we had to for Judy go and investigate the murder of the mayor. Another quest sees us tracking down rogue AI taxis. Now side quests are said to feel real organic and explore a large tonal range from extremely dark to light hearted. And as we know guys in a massive RPG game like this side quests are going to be ginormous which is going to be cool. There was also word on mini games like a shooting range and much more, which I guess we'd expect in a game this big. Okay so moving on and they mention a few unique weapons which if you've seen the weapons trailer I think you would understand that the arsenal behind this game is pretty huge and diverse. They mention a sniper that can shoot around corners as well as a rifle that can charge up and shoot through walls. How cool is that? Now one of the media sources mentions that they inadvertently launched a sex scene with a CDPR dev and that quest reward was a dildo on a bat. So yeah, although we have big bad banging weapons, we also have dildos on bats. So if you do want to go pacifist style and don't want to shoot with guns, a dildo on a bat seems to work. Now talking about sex scenes, I covered what we knew a few days back but we do go into a few more details today. So sex within this game is an option, I mean it's plastered all over the game, nudity is everywhere but keep in mind though if this is something you don't want to see or experience there is a nudity filter which you can turn on which will eliminate said things. But yes sex is in the game and well if you wanna you can go and pick up sex workers. Now it is said that what we see and how far it goes isn't anything pornographic and it's said to be one step further than The Witcher. The game does though contain full frontal nudity and while within sex scenes it's said we experience them from a first person view or that option is there. Now other details the world seemed pretty dense with people, buildings felt massive and almost all you could enter, cities and themes drastically changed from one to the other and you notice a big difference in style in terms of cars, clothing and much much more. When you die you go back to the most recent checkpoint, a pacifist run is possible although you still have to take part in combat you do not have to kill anybody. But yeah guys all in all Cyberpunk 2077 is shaping up to be an amazing game. Now I have another video coming later I'm just finishing off of that so stay tuned people. But yeah guys Cyberpunk releases on December 10th and if you're new to my channel I want to step to date with everything Cyberpunk including guides and much much more when a game releases make sure you subscribe. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.